if you are using this carbon paper as articulating paper to check occlusion in your practice then first thing you must throw this articulating paper from your practice and the disclaimer i am doing a learning phase thanks to my mentors and i have given the reference journal link in the description and if you are using single type articulating paper then this video is for you there we have n number of articulating paper with various micron available in the market 150 140 and 12 micron even 8 microns available in the market each micron has different indications come let's see indeed in cases of cd complete denture or removable prosthetic denture or any acrylic tooth restoration you must need to check the occlusion with help of 100 micron articulating paper available in the market in fixed prosthetic denture cases you need to check the occlusion in a two step procedure in step one you need to use 100 micron articulating paper to check both static and dynamic occlusion and in step 2 you need to use 12 micron articulating paper in both static and dynamic occlusion in case of natural teeth like a composite restoration and any other direct restoration you need to have 40 micron articulating paper anything above 40 micron articulating paper PDL will sense it as a foreign object. So, in case of, of anterior teeth, you need to check with the help of 12 micron articulating paper to check the occlusion. Up to 40 micron, it will be available in as a articulating paper. Less than 40 micron, it will be available in a articulating foil and Boss brand will provide them as in 12 micron and 8 microns. If you are a brand and quality lover, Boss brand is ultimate. If you are economic lover, then Marx will help you. Why this paper comes in two color, red and blue, which nothing to help us differentiate between static and dynamic occlusion in our practice. And for checking the occlusion, you must need to fold the paper firmly with help of articulating holder. If you don't have articulating paper, I used to prefer a locking tweezer to hold them firmly because in free hand we will tend to displace the articulating paper in different positions make the chair and patient in an upright position because in supine position mandible tends to fall back gives as a false occlusion and the second thing as mentioned earlier you must hold the paper firmly using articulating paper holder and the third thing, ensure the teeth surface dry using a three-way syringe before checking the occlusion. Now we will see the demonstration how to check the static and dynamic occlusion. Just ask the patient to bite in a centric relation. Ask him to bite repeatedly in centric relation just like the video following this. After getting the static occlusion, and you must remember this famous picture to uh, remember uh, slopes in the anterior, two points in the premolars, three points in the molar. Any other slopes against these points should be trimmed off. And in the lower, it will be the same except the points will be on the buccal cusp. In dynamic occlusion, I used to use red color. Ask the patient to bite in a centric relation and ask him to give a lateral extrusion in a right and left mandibular position following the video. And in dynamic occlusion, there should not be any slopes or markings in the tooth surface. You need to trim it off everything in dynamic occlusion. And most importantly, which burr do we need to do this correction? It is the Pro 31 red color burr from Mani. And hope if you are happy to learn new madness knowledge. If so, subscribe Dear Madness Dentistry with love. Thanks in advance.